do I dare disturb the universe? Oh, hi, and welcome to another episode of LP and Laundry. If this is your first time, here's how it works. I play one side of an unusual record. We talk about it a little bit before, we talk about it a little bit during, and over the course of it, I'll fold some laundry. It's not really about the laundry, but I have been told that it is oddly compelling. This episode, we are going to do something we haven't done for a while. We're going to flip the record. Yes, the previous episode of LPN Laundry featured side one of Golden Oldies for Today's Teens, and uh, it was so delightful I decided, you know what, this next episode, why don't I just play side two and we'll have a little more fun listening to an older generation of people raised on music from the 30s and 40s desperately flail around trying to make that same music relevant for the teens of that day, which I'm betting is some sort of a 50s, 60s rock and roll, hula hoop, smoking pot, Woodstock, we gotta feed the kids thing. I don't know exactly when this record came out. Details are sketchy. But, uh, and, and you know, and I already read most of the, because it's got quite the persuasive essay uh, on it, uh, and we found out that as it went on, it was clearly these were novelty songs. So here's a few descriptions of the, of, uh, of the, let's go with the, mm, uh, the let's see here, okay. Uh, uh, in this outing, noted maestro arranger David Carroll has the term oldie take on its true meaning. Every piece of material that Carroll has assembled here made its de debut back in the 30s or 40s. Okay, that's the premise. Um, so there isn't an adult around who will ever forget banjo eyes, Eddie Cantor hopping about and tapping his fingers together to the rhythm of Goody Goody, which we heard last week. Of course, no one knew what Slim Gaylord meant when he eased over the captivating uh, lyrics of Cement Mixer, Pate Pate, but it hardly mattered. Uh, everyone hardly sympathized, oh, happily sympathized with Ella Fitzgerald when on a tisket, a tasket, she lost her yellow basket. Uh, and so forth, and so on. Uh, oh, here's one that's going to be going on. Shoe Fly Pie, uh, a request repeatedly made by Dusty Fletcher, took the disc market by, oh, Chuckle Storm. Oh, this is so, this is going to be, uh, it's just going to be dumb form. I'm not even going to, I'm sight reading this. And how about I just stop my yapping, turn on the record, fold some clothes, and we'll just, we'll see if these golden oldies are relevant for today's middle-aged generation Xer. Okay, let's try it. By the way, photographs of these record covers, uh, probably not at the best resolution, uh, are available uh, on the Facebook page uh, on uh, mattfugate.blogspot.com. Those are the Kukets. I think this is 
probably mildly racist, or at the very least problematic. Sounded like it was kind of going for a sham Indian thing, maybe, as in Native American. Shoe fly pie and apple pie. Shoe fly pie. And apple pie. Oh, that guy. The tummy say, "How Shoe fly pie. Apple pie. You know, I never get enough. Like wonderful stuff.
Johnson rag. harmony on the part of the guys. I can see why they're not on more tracks. Apparently Deep Voice guy wasn't available.
Well, that was, uh, I would say, every bit as delightful as side one, uh, other than, was it, uh, which one was it? Johnson rag with the with the cookers that decided to jump in and uh, hassle in a group with the cookettes uh, and then very very terribly harmonizing in that one. Other than that, that little blip. Uh, this is an otherwise delightful record. They should play it at the DMV only once because if you were to hear it twice. You would want to kill uh, me. I would. I would love to hear this perhaps once a day. I think you should play this video once a day. Share it with somebody once a day. <laughs> brighten up their brighten up their their day by saying, "Hey, you should actually uh, you know do side one because I, I I have a better read on the uh, on the persuasive essay." But uh, thank you as always for joining me on this kooky journey. See, Kukats, that just happened. Uh, through Golden Oldies for today's teens, uh, I don't know what the equivalent would be today. I suppose because the kids, we don't have to sell, we don't have to update the things we were into for today's teens uh, because, uh, well, I, I think technology has done that for us. Maybe? I don't know, man. I don't know. Have you ever wondered if maybe like inside the tip of your finger there was a whole other universe and inside that universe there was a version of you? Anyway, thank you very much for joining me as always. Make sure that you use one of the little share buttons or the like button or any of the Floyd Floyd you know, hip hop boogie uh, with the Johnson rag and the cement mixer. Putte putte.